Hollywire, what is going on? The fans were just screaming out there on this red carpet for the movie after because we were interviewing Hero Fiends Tiffin. He is a heartthrob. What is going on, dude? What do you feel about all these fans just yelling and it's screaming? Nuts. It's nuts. How are you doing? You just have to raise your hand wow. and they'll scream for you. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm so grateful. These guys have, have, have kind of brought me to where I am, and yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful for it. Okay, have you had any really amazing moments so far? Who do you guys have already been to, like, Brazil? You guys been all over touring. Any really cool moments from a fan? Uh, we were we were by the, by the square, by the Duomo in Milan, which was incredible. We had a, a, a bigger audience than the Duomo did, so uh, that was nuts. I feel like everywhere we've been, I can't compare. Everywhere we've been, the reception has been incredible. So like I say, so thankful. These fans are amazing. Okay, let's take it to the movie here. Filming those lake scenes. Cold, warm, hot. What was the lake? Was the lake cold or hot? What was it like filming in that lake? It was really hot and humid, so we were we were raring to go, but we filmed across a couple of days. The first day was nice weather, the second day not so much. So uh, yeah, the first day we were we were happier to jump in, the second day not so much, but can't complain. What did the lake mean to like the movie? What does that part mean to the movie? Did it have any like any type of subtext? I think it's just like a, I don't know if I would call it like a first date, but it's the first kind of proper connection between the two of them where they're alone and they have time to get to know each other. And uh, I know, like you say, it means so much to the fans, so it, it meant a lot to us to get it right. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with it and I, I think the fans will be too. You said it first, first date. Give me some advice on our first I said date, I Hero. Don't want Hero, to say first Hero date. what is it Listen, like to go on a first date? I, I, I'm not in a position to give the best advice, but I would just say be yourself. Uh, enjoy it, be yourself, be honest. You know, it, it differs from person to person, but essentially be yourself. Okay, I've seen some model photos of you online. I saw this one where you had this crazy thing on your head, you're just rock, walking the runway and you were owning it. I think that was my first, my first runway thing I did. Yeah, it was cool. I remember I liked that hat. I liked it. Did you take that hat? You could keep that no, hat? I didn't. It's, I could not rock that in 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 day to day life. But uh, on a runway, any excuse. I loved it. Yeah. Sum this whole movie up in like three or four words. What would you say about this movie? I don't know if I could do three or four, but I think you it's just a paragraph that, if you want. I think it's just that that classic love story that everyone loves and never gets old, told in a new, modern, refreshing way. Dude, Hero, you the man. Thank you so much. I gotta Thank get you. a tattoo of Hero on my body. <laughs> yeah, my guy. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, dude. Okay, you were the writer of the film. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what it was like, the writing process, and also working with the cast. Just from bringing it from my book series to a film, just totally was an amazing experience and being so involved was something that I'm fortunate of. A lot of writers don't get to have such involvement in their film or series being made. So it was amazing being able to rewrite pages and help in casting and wardrobe. It was really great. Okay, what was one of your favorite, like, dialogues in the, in the movie? Like, uh, you know, that, that, that dialogue you remember, and you're like, I wrote that. That's one yes. of my favorite ones. Oh. I feel like the first thing that comes to my mind is the lake scene, just the like banter, because that's really when you see the vulnerability come through. So that was like, I was really proud of writing that, because it's pretty true to the book and to the script, so I was really happy about it. Was there a, a line of dialogue that, that you loved, that you wrote? Yeah, that we can't ever just be friends, because it's like the moment of the movie. If, if uh, I mean, sort of, but you know you're watching a romance, so not really. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what makes this film, why is this film, what is, what is, grab, what is the audience gravitating towards this film so much? I mean, I hope one, entertainment. Um, to that feeling of Did first you say love. Yes. I love that. <laughs> that feeling of first love of if it happened 10 years ago, 20 years ago, or it will happen in a few years. There's Tessa leaves her house for the first time. She makes friends for the first time. She falls in love for the first time. She has her first intimate moment. So I feel like everybody can kind of relate to someone in the film, even if it's not Tessa or Harden. Okay. That's great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you.